Good day to all of you creative people watching this video. Katrina's here and we are making another bow. How fun are these? Want to know how to make them? We are going to start with corkers because they will need time to bake and to make them I'm using one fourth of an inch metal rod. The great part about having a metal rod is that it won't break, it won't burn and if for some reason your ribbon leak color all you need to do is wipe it with any house cleaner or even dish soap. As for ribbon, I'm using 3 8 of an inch grow grain, but you can make corkers using any ribbon. All you need to do really is to wrap your ribbon around the rod using small binder clips to hold the ends. You don't want your ribbon to be loose, so pull it nice and tight. That's it! It's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to bake my corkers for 10 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, we are going to make our bow. So I found this awesome unicorn print. Did you know that they are crazy popular right now? Let me know in the comments. Anyhow, I'm using one and a half inch ribbon and it needs to be eight inches long. We've already done a bow like this when we did Valentine's Day bow, so you know it's super easy. And if you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description box. Just watch and repeat. The corkers are done baking, they cool down and I can take them off the rods and put our boat together.
Thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and share it with everyone who might be interested in this tutorial. Subscribe for new ones now every two weeks. And if you don't want to miss them, tap that bell button to get notifications. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.